Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to finish up a series of two paintings. This is the second one. It will be a large green and white drip style painting. So as you can see, I'm just using some Home Depot bought spackling paste to create texture on the underlying of the painting. I just apply it with the trowel, let it dry, and then here going over it with just regular white paint. Uh, to make the color more uniform. And if you'd like to watch the making of the first painting in this series, I'll go ahead and post the link in the description below. Uh, for this painting, as well as the first, it's just going to use uh, four colors. Uh, this is a phthalo green mixed with a sap green, and then I'm going to add some black and some white to gray it down. So here I'm just applying the green paint to the canvas. I've got a paintbrush in one hand and then a brayer or a rubber roller in my other hand. And uh, I really like using a brayer, especially on a textured canvas because uh, it gives you different values of the color that you're looking for. Some lighter values and some darker values because of the way that the rubber roller rolls over the texture. And now for the fun part, I'm using my fingers for this one. Sometimes I'll forego the brush and just pick up some paint with my hands and apply it directly to the canvas. Uh, this way I'm able to get some neat, unexpected designs uh, that I might not be able to get with a regular paintbrush. And here I'm using a spray bottle with water in it just to achieve a, dri a dripping effect that I'm going for, as well as loosening up the paint to make it uh, blend a little bit easier. Now this pour is simply uh, white paint mixed with water. As you can see, I'm just going around adding in my original green on top of the white and then more white on top of the green, mixing all together, pushing and pulling the colors until I get an effect that I walk away enjoying.
Okay, and with that, I think that we'll call it finished. <laughs>